Yesterday, I made a video talking about the biggest issues inside the current build of Black Ops 4, and the good news is, is that Treyarch made a post just a few hours after that video went live, and they said that they were going to be working on both of them. So hopefully, if everything goes to plan, we should have those fixed and we wouldn't have to worry about those. But of course, that's not what we're talking about here today. Today, we're going to be talking about the smaller issues that have been plaguing Black Ops 4, at least in its current state. Now, I did say these are going to be the smaller issues, but at the same time, I'm going to include some things that have the potential to be game-breaking. But the thing is, the reason why I didn't put it in my video from yesterday is because I feel like they won't actually be game-breaking, but there's still things to bring up because I'm kind of concerned about them at the same time but of course with that said actually no I have one more thing to say before we get into this because there was something that I did so the beta was closing today right and I wanted to just go ahead get proper gameplay for I can show you off exactly what I'm talking about with each and every one of these issues but guess what I did guess what I did I spent the last three hours of the beta collecting all this gameplay saying oh look I'm gonna make a nice put together video it's gonna be really nice and everyone's going to like it but nope that's not what I did I recorded it then accidentally deleted all of it and didn't export it so congratulations for me everybody clap I don't care if it's pre-recorded video clap in real life right now now, just start copying please it's amazing what I've done here but instead you're going to just get to watch some gameplay that I may have used before I can't remember if I used gameplay before or not so hopefully that's something that doesn't annoy you but anyways now with that said let's actually jump into these issues so I'm going to try to go through these pretty fast because I've been trying to record this for a while and I just spend way too much time talking about them so the first one I want to talk about is that the game doesn't always run smooth now this does sound like something that's potentially game breaking because Call of Duty's never really Really not ran smooth this is something that Call of Duty is known for 1080p 60 frames a second and that's just not been the case with this beta so far on multiple occasions the game has had some frame tearing and just frame drops and even people have been saying there's been some upscaling to 1080p which is totally unacceptable because the thing is the reason why we've been accepting the graphics of Call of Duty is because we wanted that 1080p 60 frames a second but if we're not getting that and we're still not going to get upgraded graphics there's just no excuse anymore so if we don't hit that 1080p 60 frames a second consistently it's just unacceptable and they need to really rethink what they're doing but the reason I didn't say that this was a bigger problem and didn't include my from my video from yesterday is that this has been improved on drastically because on the first night of the beta on Thursday it was ridiculous honestly it was just so bad but now on Sunday when it just closed up or I guess Monday morning it was just so much better there was much less frame tearing and much less frame dropping and all that stuff so I do think this is going to be something that's going to be worked out I mean it's not completely gone yet but I do think it's going to be something that's going to be worked out by the full time of the release of the game so that's the reason why I didn't include it in my video from yesterday now the other one I want to talk about again is a potential game breaking one but I again think it's been improved ever since day one so I imagine it'll be fixed by the time the game actually comes out but it's this weird thing that your enemy teammate no enemy teammates doesn't make sense your enemy players that you're playing against they kind of teleport instead of move smoothly instead of just smoothing moving smoothly across the screen instead they kind of teleport inch by inch and it's really annoying because when I'm shooting at people moving like this the uh, what's it called the aim assist just does not work and it really sucks because it's working for them but it's not working for me and they're just teleporting it's really hard to keep your aim on them and the thing is it's even worse because it mainly happens when they're sliding which is just ridiculous because it's already hard enough to hit them while they're sliding and it's just it's just so annoying but regardless it's just something that I really hope is fixed by the time the actual game comes out because it's a really big problem but again I don't think it's going to be a really big problem because it's been worked on it's been happening less and less ever since the game came out so I do hope that's fixed unless it's actually just a problem I've been experiencing and because I've been going because people's bad internet or something but I don't know hopefully something's worked out because I don't like it at all Another thing that again has the potential for being game breaking is that the maps just seem 
all very small, very fast paced and just really tight. And that's not normally a problem, in fact some of my favorite maps are these fast, tight, small maps that I just really, really like them. But the thing is, all of your maps being like that is a huge issue because the thing is, the reason why I like those small maps so much is that it increases the game pace just when you're going from map to map because some maps you play slower because that's the best way to play them and then some maps you play faster and that's just how you play the games and you play methodically heavy or push heavy or just however you play the different maps but all these maps you just play the same way all the time it's just push 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 and I don't like that because it gets rid of that unique feeling for each map and I just don't like it and I hope that is not how all the maps are and that's the reason why I didn't keep it as a major problem because I can't imagine all of their maps are going to be these small tight maps and I just think the reason why they put those there is because they wanted to put as much stress as they could on their servers engine and all that for they could fix absolutely everything they possibly could or at least that's what I'm hoping but anyways another one that is kind of annoying is Seraph spawn beacon especially for objective play oh my gosh if you have a somebody on your team or if you are using Seraph spawn beacon well in objective play you're just going to win every single time the only way that you're not going to win is if somebody on the opposite team is also really good at using Seraph spawn beacon that's the only possible way you just put it right outside of the control spot or be on domination or the hard point spot it doesn't matter you're going to win all the time and it's just so annoying because not in any other game mode or I guess not game mode, not any other specialist in the game is a crutch specialist except Seraph she's so crutch and I just don't like that I think that's just dumb and it should not be a thing because I don't like crutch things in video games and I do not want Seraph to be a crutch inside the game because if you're not using Seraph in objective play you're not winning that game most of the time unless the other team isn't using Seraph which is just it's so annoying it's just something I don't like about it and I just think that something needs to be done about her spawn beacon and if I had to throw in a suggestion in I think the cooldown time for it has to be increased because it's just too fast this time I think you can get it like six times a game which is just so dumb and I just just stop it please I don't want it no more stop doing it and oh my gosh I just think it's something that needs to be fixed as soon as possible because it's just really annoying. Now another thing I want to talk about is the whole slide jump thing. And this slide jump thing has already been addressed by Treyarch and they said they're going to work on it going into week 2 so I do hope it's all fixed up. But my major problem with all of this is that this slide jump thing is going to be pre-aiming like 80% of the time and that just really sucks because in every single Call of Duty before this pre-aiming was the way to win gunfights you pre-aim and that's how you win but instead now if you pre-aim a corner and someone slides jumps that corner you're screwed you're not going to win that gunfight 99% of the time you're not winning the gunfight unless they just can't land their shots I mean it's just so dumb pre-aiming is just so useless in this game and the thing is it was so important in World War 2 so it's going to be really hard for me to break that habit so I just think it's just so dumb and I do think that slide jumping needs to be nerfed to an extent I don't think it needs to be nerfed all the way because I do think that you do need to have that slide jump to get certain people out of corners because there's campers too and not just people who are pre-aiming so I just think there's going to be need to be this real sweet spot for this slide jump to exist and I just don't know how they're going to do it I really hope they find a way but currently right now it is just kind of annoying that pre-aiming is pretty useless in this game and your only way to win gunfights is to push really hard but again that may be just because of the maps we've been playing maybe that's the reason why it's not really that big of a problem and the reason why we are experiencing this is because all the maps we've been playing are these tight small maps that are really fast paced but I'm not sure hopefully it's something that'll be worked out nonetheless whichever way it's worked out I just hope it is another thing I want to talk about is the HUD the HUD is so ugly it's just black bars with things on top of them and on top of that they're really tiny I don't know why your ammo counts your score streaks your health bar they're just all so small even the mini map just looks ugly it's just black it's just like what is the look to all this I mean can you bring some of the zombie teams to make some HUDs for you have you seen how nice the HUDs look in zombies can we have something like that inside multiplayer please maybe even some unique HUDs to maps I mean that'd be great I'd love to have something because these HUDs are just the worst HUDs I've ever seen I honestly can you remember like back to a time when the HUDs look worse maybe back in black ops I don't like black ops HUD at all so 
I think that's the only worst HUD I've ever seen compared to this. It's just too small. I mean, I actually can't even tell which score streaks I have because of how small the HUDs things are for the score streak and just how ugly it is. Black bars with things on it. It's just so bad. So please get the zombie team. Ask them for a favor. Say, come over here. Can you please help us design a couple HUDs because this just looks bad. Please fix that up. And honestly, that'd be the best thing you could do because if you play the beta with this HUD, it would really kind of freshen up the experience when you actually get the full game. So just hope that's going to be something they work on because it's just ugly looking. Another thing I want to throw a complaint out is that the menu screen, oh my gosh, the menu screen is not only the cursor, and the reason I'm not bringing up the cursor because it's probably not going to change, but the menu, just how it looked, is just so dark, and comparing that to Black Ops 3's menu screen, it doesn't even hold a candle to it, like, please, this better just be a beta thing because this menu is just ugly dark, it's just like, come on, and especially if you compare it to the actual gameplay, which is just so bright with color, and this also applies to the HUD because the game is just so bright with color and then the HUD is just black and then the menu is just black is just like what is this like please fix it up I mean we need something to look nice with this menu because right now it's ugly just plain ugly no other way to say it and I just don't like it I really hope zombies not going to be like this but considering Jason Blundell has actually said that they're going to have unique uh I what are they called UIs I think they're called yeah you as the user interface so UIs so I'm really hopeful that zombies are going to have their own unique things that are going to look really colorful and just really nice well they don't have to be colorful but they just have to look really nice but of course that's just something that kind of annoys me now here's the last thing that I'll just throw in there because I know they've already addressed this and said they're going to fix it but might as well throw it here at the end but the thing is the time between the matches are it's just so long I feel like I could go I could go over there eat some lunch and it still won't be completed in fact I think I could go mow the lawn that I don't have and it still will be between your games it's just like what is up with this time like who decided that was a good idea I mean it's the opposite problem that we had in World War 2's beta if you guys remember back to World War 2's beta which it was like once you would get out of one game you'd automatically be throwing another game it's like the opposite and actually the same thing with how the menu looked if you guys remember to Infinite Warfare's beta you could actually remember that the beta screen or the menu screen was too bright and everybody was saying whoa this is too bright and then of course when the full game came out it wasn't nearly as bright so I hope the same thing happened to both of them like compared to world war 2's beta you just instead of making it longer you make your wait time shorter and then with infinite warfare's beta instead of making it darker they make it lighter like the i guess just the opposite you guys know what i'm saying here so i just actually realized that just saying it now but regardless those are all the smaller i guess issues that have been complaining about not complaining the smaller issues that have been plaguing that's what i was looking for black ops 4 in its current build and i hope at least half of these if not all of them are working out because these are smaller things or things that'll probably be worked out so I'm just hoping that this is all fixed and we don't have to worry about this when the game fully launches and I'm pretty confident that they will be but anyways that's about it for me tell me what you guys think about all of the things I've mentioned here do you guys agree or disagree with the changes are there more things that I've left out here or just tell me anything you want down in the comments actually don't tell me anything you want only tell me things about the beta or clapping because I said the clap at the start of it you could put clapping emojis so that's that's fine but anything else just don't put that just what's relevant to the video okay but anyways if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead do all the normal youtube stuff like subscribe bell share and especially bell but i'm gonna go and i'll catch you guys in the next stream or video